So I want to talk a little bit about Oklahoma, USC, Michigan, Florida State, four programs that are modern blue bloods for us that I otherwise would expect to be in a conversation for the college football playoff right now, and they are not. Every last one of these programs is sorry. Oklahoma has a winning record, it's four and three, but combined, Michigan, USC, Florida State, Oklahoma are 12 and 16. Florida State is off to its worst start to a season since 1975 at one and six, okay? It's only that Mike Norvell makes $10 million that we aren't necessarily focusing on Lincoln Riley, who also makes $10 million. And his team is just a little bit better. They're three and four. But it still is not what you're expecting from USC. Them being bad this year, didn't see that one coming, man. Not really. You know, we're talking about a team that could be 7-0 and oh if the head coach made plays. And by that, I mean clock management, calling right time out at the right time, using the clock wisely, forcing the offense to slow down and complement your defense. Head coach stuff. You know, it's an offense you call, and it's a defense that you put together. That's on him. Now they're 500 over the last 22 games they played, 11 and 11. USC paid $4.5 million to get Lincoln Riley out of his contract and to USC and then made him the highest paid coach at the time with this reported $10 million salary. Now what do you got? You got a USC that can't get past Minnesota, that can't get past the Michigan and ain't got no quarterback. And for the most part, it should have had Penn State dead to rights, which is why I got Penn State on watch. Like, you don't beat up on Wisconsin and Ohio State. I'm showing up to your warrant with, uh, or excuse me, I'm showing up to your house with a warrant that says fraud. Because the, the, the getting pushed by this USC team does not look good anymore. The win that they got over LSU makes LSU kind of look suspect, you know? Yeah, I'm catching hell from, te- uh, from LSU fans, by the way. Because uh, I had the nerve to say they might get beat down by Georgia in the SEC championship game. I, I fail to see where the take is on that that you're going to get mad about, dog. I can't help stupid, all right? Uh, I can't help you if, if you can't help yourself, okay? Understand that the Georgia Bulldogs that we saw against Texas, they coming after everybody. It's not just LSU. They coming after everybody. If they can do that to Texas, that offensive line, what do you think they're going to be able to do to you? You know what I'm saying? All right? You know, just, I, don't, I, don't, I can't help you. You know, people call me the, the OU homer here, and I'm going, I don't know. Mm. A lot of things, but that ain't that ain't it, dog. That ain't it. Ask any Oklahoma fan who knows something about me. They'll be like, hey, R- RJ, he'd be the first person to tell us that we crappy. Because cause they are. So, news was made with Seth Luttrell getting fired. I get that. News being made that Jackson Arnold's going to start against Ole Miss? No, nah, it's not good. This, it, 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 it's not good. The offense is not good. Hell, Brent called it up. He said, look, we're an abomination on offense because they are. It is offensive what this offense cannot do. 128th in the country at Oklahoma? All right, I realize that Oklahoma has one more game than it has lost, which makes it better than USC by default, right? But I got to tell y'all, this cold war going on between Oklahoma fans and USC fans is only going to get even more warm. It's going to get warmer. It's going to get hot. It's going to get toasty. Because now that neither one of them is playing for championships, they're playing to see which team can actually get out of the doldrums quicker. Okay? Oklahoma's got a bit of an advantage, it thinks, because won 10 games last year. But, you know, that Cotton Bowl year was pretty good for Lincoln Riley. You know what I'm saying? That Heisman year, that was also pretty good for Lincoln Riley. Oklahoma... Ain't won no championship in half a decade now. Okay? All right? Let's put that out there. Now, they're both off to what I think are piss-poor, mediocre starts in their respectively new conferences. But I got to also tell y'all, man, I need Oklahoma and USC to play each other in a bowl game. Like, I need Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. to fight each other before they became geriatrics. It, it got to happen. Like, you ever have them homeboys and them homegirls that, you know, they be just barking at each other and they be sniping at each other all the time? You're like, can y'all go over there and work that out? Can y'all get on some gloves right quick and go to work on each other? 
because this has got to stop. You know, you got that one partner that can't stand that other partner. You know what I'm saying? It looked like Pyru and Crip over here. And, you know, you in the middle over here going, damn, dog, I, can we? It's, that, was, that was 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? But, no, it's turning into Ohio State, Michigan with Oklahoma, USC. It's turning into Hatfield, McCoy's. It's turning into Texas, Texas A&M. They got their reasons. Oklahoma certainly got its reasons. This grapes to wrath stuff, this Joe's exit, paying $4.5 million to get somebody up out of their contract so you can pay them even more to be in the sun, South Central, having a good time, while people keep thumbing their nose at Oklahoma. Nah, it, it got to happen. So th that, that is my fervent Christmas wish. That's what I want. I want two bowl-eligible teams, USC and Oklahoma, play each other in a bowl game this year. I don't care what it's got to look like. I don't care what you got to do to get it to me. I just need it. I need it with Brent Venables as head coach. I need it with you, uh, Lincoln Riley as head coach. I need one still basically calling the offense and one still basically calling the defense. And let's go to work, man, because that's, that's what I got left right now. You know, and as far as the college football playoffs is concerned, I'm going to have my own fun, but I ain't got no dog in that fight no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be watching that one calling the game. This one, I'm going to be watching it calling the game going, ooh, I know, I know, where, I know where that jab came from. Yeah, I, I know where that jab came from. That jab came from 2021 loss Oklahoma State. I seen that one. I seen that one. I see that. All right, cool. I seen that one too. That one came from sitting Spencer Rattler once, sitting Spencer Rattler twice, and then making off with Caleb Williams. I seen that too. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, I saw that one. I saw it was Bob Stoops at the Oregon game, Alamo Bowl. I seen that one too. You know what I'm saying? I want to get to the part of this where we're having these discussions that only USC and Oklahoma fans are going to feel these burns, are going to feel what was said, because it's, it's, it's getting into that KDOT Drake space where KDOT is only making beats to go after Drake. Not anybody else saying things that are specifically targeted at Drake. You can, you can make your analogy to whomever you want there, your comparison to whoever you want there. I just want to see it. I just, I, there is nothing I love more than watching rivals who hate each other play each other. It is, it is. Ooh, I love that. I, I love that because you get the sweet release of, a. Hey, we, the, I'm just here for violence. You know what I mean? That's Ohio State, Michigan. I'm just here for violence. Nobody's, some, somebody's going to be very unhappy. And the other person, they're not going to be happy. They're going to be relieved. There's no happiness in that. There's, there's none. There's only relief. And more and more anger. And we'll see you the next time. The thing about Oklahoma and USC is they're not natural rivals. They're only natural rivals right damn now. I dare say Oklahoma fans feel some kind of way about Lincoln Riley in a way they don't feel about Matt Leinart, which is a wild thought because all Matt Leinart has done is beat up on everybody. Like, you go look at, at the teams that Matt Leinart was quarterback for, show me the L's. You know what I mean? <laughs> he got wins against everybody. And all the wins feel bad. You know, there's the Bush push against Notre Dame. There's the Ashley Simpson booing, stomping out that he gave us at 2004. All the way down. Everybody got beef with Matt, right? But this one, this one I think that if Oklahoma fans drew USC, USC drew Oklahoma fans, ooh-wee. That might be the best attended bowl game that ain't in the college football playoff. And I dare say it might outdraw the 5-12 matchup. Because everybody would know the same thing. We all want to see this fight. Full stop. Show it to me. All right. That is going to do it for tonight's live episode of the number one college football show. Uh, if you like the show, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you don't like the show, tell me about it in the comments. We'll see what we can't do about that. All right. I'll see you on the flip side. Doses.